Here's the parking lot that I'm starting my little hike from. Just wanted you to see the view out here. Pretty spectacular. <laughs> this is called the Sierra Pareda Overlook. Just a gorgeous view. You can look forever. I don't know how far away those hills are over there, but quite a ways away. And all the way up this way. That's a huge valley. All the way up this way. Here's my vehicle. Let's go back and have a look at it the other way. Very spectacular viewpoint here. Just lovely country. Huge country. Sierra Pareda Overlook. We're going to be hiking along this ridge out to where I want to use the metal detector and over to this side it drops off toward Prescott and over to the other side toward Skull Valley. But you can see it's just a beautiful day. Bright blue skies and nice cool temperatures. So we're going to have a nice hike and a little bit of a treasure hunting adventure today. This is why I'm out here today. You can see there's a little hole here, little diggings. I don't know how long it took them to dig that hole. Maybe a couple of days anyhow. So they, they might have camped overnight. And there's some nice level areas down in here where they might have camped. So we'll check it out. But I'm just so impressed what a beautiful day it is. Uh, and what a, what a great view we've got right here. What a wonderful place to do a little treasure hunting. And it's a gorgeous day. I mean this is February 10th. <laughs> the rest of the country is going crazy with winter weather, but here in Prescott we've had some gorgeous days. We're in the mid-60s right now, probably here, and uh, they're forecasting for later in the week for it to be up in the 70s. So it's a bright sunny day and yet the air is cool. Uh, I'm just right off the hiking trail right here by this little diggings. So a great day to be out just to enjoy the outdoors and maybe we'll find a treasure. We'll see. Here we are right across the trail from the the diggings. Here's the diggings over here and uh, looks like somebody built a little fire pit here. Kind of a party place I think. It's not too far from the parking lot and uh, you know the guys that come out here to party they don't want to hike too far from the parking lot gotta carry all that beer that can get pretty heavy on a long hike <laughs> anyhow I'm not finding fault with the partiers but I've done my share over the years but anyhow I got a uh, decent signal right here and it turns out to be a fork not a silver fork just this is made in China and it's pretty light so anyhow uh, more evidence of wherever people are they're gonna lose stuff but this is a good place to camp and uh, if people are out here camping and partying today this could be a good place for the old timers who dug that hole to camp too so we're gonna keep on looking we're just about a foot away from where I found that fork and here's a penny it's a modern penny 2000 but at least I'm finding some stuff here. Here's where I found the fork, right there. Just about a foot away, found a penny. Here's a dime. Uh, when I first dug it up, I thought, oh, this is pretty worn. Maybe it's an old one. Well, it's not. <laughs> 2006. Uh, and I'm right, right across the trail from the diggings. So, there's a lot of stuff here. So far, it's just been modern coins, but uh, We'll see. Maybe we'll find some old coins here still. Well, this is a pretty interesting area. <laughs> I found a, a, that dime right about here. Over here, a penny. Over here, a dime. Again, these are still modern coins, but just right in this little area, finding quite a few coins, like a coin spill maybe, except they're, they're spread apart a little bit. So, we keep on looking. It's a great day to hike and treasure hunt and 
It's a nice area and I am finding some stuff. We'll keep on looking. And another dime, just a few inches away. So, boy, we're finding some coins here. This is another modern dime. Now, I found so many coins in this area. I'm feeling pretty confident. So let's see if we can dig this one together. It's got a pretty good coin sound. It sounds like a penny. Although, that's not good. That doesn't have the isolated sound that we want. But let's dig it together and see what happens. I always have a hard time digging with one hand and sorting stuff out. Oh, there it is right away. So, that's a dime. <laughs> Amazing. Probably a modern dime. But uh, another dime right in this area. This has got to be like a huge coin spill. And right in the same hole, a nickel. <laughs> I'm amazed. There's just a handful of coins right in this little, like if you were to draw a circle two foot in diameter, there's just a bunch of coins right here in this little area. So that's a nickel, modern nickel. Hear this sound. That's, that to me is like a nickel sound. Nickel or tinfoil, but I think it's probably nickel. It doesn't have that ringing sound like the more conductive coins. But let's see if we can dig this together. see it, but I typically need the, the pinpointer to find it. There we go. Okay, it's still in the hole right about in there. Wait, I think I see it. There it is. And it's a nickel. I'm sure it's a modern nickel, but another nickel. Here's a nickel. It's a modern nickel, 2000. But just shows people have been around this area, and I'm just down from the where the little diggings are, where that log is laying down. That's where the hole is. So I thought maybe down in in this area. They might have camped. This is a nice level area, even if they were just here for a short time. So, haven't found an old coin yet, but we're still looking. Now, we're a little ways away from the hole. Hole is back up in there, the diggings. But I noticed it's a beautiful old tree here. Probably very old, gorgeous tree. And up in the tree, somebody built a little stand, probably a deer stand. Some pieces of plywood thrown up in there. And I thought, okay, well, they had to climb up that tree and they had to sit in, sit on those boards. So I checked around the base of the tree some. And sure enough, found a couple of coins. These are just modern coins, but right here in the same hole, I found a dime and a penny. So I'm sure they lost them as they were climbing up this tree. Get up into their stand up in there. So they're modern, but we keep on looking. It's a beautiful area and a beautiful day. I'm going to show you the view looking just a few feet away over here, overlooking the valley. I'm just a few feet away from where that deer stand was up in the tree. And look at the view here. <laughs> this is gorgeous. What a nice area. And it's a beautiful day, bright and sunny, and yet the air is cool. There's a little breeze blowing. Nice cool breeze. Couldn't be a nicer day to be out treasure hunting. What a huge valley this is. I'm looking basically to the west of Prescott from here. Just a very pleasant day to be out. Little hike 
some treasure hunting. Who knows? I might still find something. Here's another look out towards the valley. Beautiful old trees up in here. Juniper trees, I think they are. And opens up into that valley out over there. <laughs> 